drawing the bending moment diagram for these particular pieces. Okay. So if you see here, are you, uh, is everyone able to see the, what you call the, the window, the drone here, whatever has been drawn? Are you able to see? Okay. Now, if you see, what I ha whatever I have tried to do, whatever I have tried to do, okay, I have tried to take the cases, the different cases, there were nine cases, okay, there were nine cases. So, if you see, the first case was, it says for you, an interior panel, okay, an interior panel, and we say the interior panel is a slab where it's connected from all sides. It's connected by slabs from the, from all the sides. So if we try to go and see, so I have already highlighted, okay, I have already highlighted that this is slab number one. And if you see slab number one, you see that there is another slab from this side, there is another slab from here, another slab from here, and then another slab from here. And this is whatever I have drawn, this is whatever I have drawn here. Okay, same goes for the second scenario. For the second scenario, we have this part is discontinuous, so it's continuous from here. There is a slab, there is a slab here, there is a slab here. Now, in this particular portion, there is no slab. Okay, so if you see how, how would I draw, I have drawn it in this way, where it's continuous, 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 and then this continuous from one side. Okay, now if you see, it says for you one short edge discontinuous. So, assuming that this is six meter. And this is nine meter. These are representing your short direction. Okay. So the disconnected, the disconnected part, which is this one, is a short dimension. Okay. Going for, uh, going for the third one. Going for the third case, where it says for us, where it says for us, one long edge discontinuous. Okay. So three are continuous, one is discontinuous. We'll go here. We'll see that this is continuous from here, continuous from here, continuous from here, while this one is discontinuous. Okay, and this is what I have drawn here. Are we clear about this point? Are we okay? Okay. Now we'll try to draw the bending moment diagram. We'll try to draw the bending moment diagram. Now, if you go and see, if you go and see, for this particular, if I draw a line here, if I draw a line for slab number one, or whatever line I'm drawing right now, there is a support here, there is another support here. So I just draw the supports. Same for the other side, I just draw in a line. There is one support here, there is another support here, where we don't have any slab, okay, okay, or it's continuous here, so this should be continued because of the other slab, and then this should be continued, this should be continued for the other slab, and this should be continued for the other slab, okay. Now going for case number two, once again, I have drawn a line, there is a support here, but there is no slab, so no need in this area. There is no slab, so there is no need to extend my element. There is a support here, so I'll just draw a line here. It says continuous from this side, so I'll just draw a small line extending that there is another slab. And this side, once again, a small line, a support here, another support here. So one, two. There is a slab here, there is a slab here, so I'll just extend and then extend. Okay, the same thing goes for case number three. We'll draw a small line. So support one, support two, support one, support two. And then there is a slab here, there is a slab here, so I'll just extend. For the short direction, for the short direction, okay. So once again, I just try try to draw a line. There is support here. There is support here. So one support, 
it's continuous from this side. So just extend it. There is support here, but it does not extend because this is discontinued. Are we OK with the drawing? Are we fine with this drawing that they have drawn for you? OK, so it's very simple. It's a matter of continuous discontinuous. OK, now we'll try to go and draw. We'll try to draw, uh, try to draw. We have already learned the basics of drawing. We say, OK, we say if it's continuous, then there will be a moment from one side or two sides. If it's discontinuous, then the moment is zero. So if you see here, for example, let us start by this case. It's continuous from both sides. So our bending moment diagram will come going up, down, up, and then down. Same thing here. It goes up, down, up, and then down. This scenario, it goes up, down, up, and then down. Now here, in this particular region, in this particular region, the moment is equal to zero. So when I'll draw, it starts from zero, it goes up, and this way. Okay. Are we fine? Same thing here. Start by zero, going up, and then it goes down. Up, down, and then up. Are we fine? Okay. Now, if we try to zoom in a little bit, if we try to zoom in, <coughs> if we try to zoom in, now, this direction, is it representing X or Y? And this one is representing what exactly, X or not, or Y? The short, of, of course, the first one is representing X. And this is representing Y. Are we okay? Short is X. Long is Y. Okay. Now for X, you will see that there are two values. There is this one. With the blue color. And then there is this one. With the brown color. Okay. The blue color is representing whatever we call it X positive or beta X positive. That is beta is coefficient. X is the direction of X positive that the bending moment goes down. This one is representing beta X negative. Are we clear? Okay, going for the other side, once again, this is Y, so the blue one, since it's positive, it's going to be beta, X, or beta, sorry, beta Y positive. And this one, since it's a negative bending moment, or a top bending moment, we call it as beta Y negative. Are we okay? Now we'll try to go and draw for all the other cases, and then we'll try to know how to get the values. Okay, so I'll just go. I'll just go here for case number four, five, and six. Okay. Now, if you see case number four. Okay. Now, case number four says for us two adjacent edges discontinuous. Okay. Now, if you can see. This is continuous, this is continuous, while this is discontinuous, this is discontinuous. So two sides, one long, one short, are discontinuous, which is case number four, which is this one. 
case number five, it says for us two short edge discontinuous. Case number five. Now, if I see for five, this is continuous from this side, this side continuous from the long, okay, but it's discontinuous. One short is discontinuous, and another short is discontinuous. So if I try to draw it, I'll draw it in this way. It means discontinuous from here, discontinuous from here, continuous and then continuous. Going for case number six. Case number six, once again, it says for us two long edges discontinuous. So if you see, okay, two long edges discontinuous. So if you see that this is continuous now, one short continuous, another short continuous. Now one long is discontinuous, another long is discontinuous. So what we have drawn, it says two long edges discontinuous. So this is discontinuous. This is discontinuous. There is no slabs on the left and right. Okay. But it's continuous from the top and bottom. Okay, now if we try to draw the bending moment diagram as whatever we have, okay, as whatever we have to try to do previously for cases from one to three, we're going to do, to do the same. Okay, so a line here, this, this is a support, this is another support. So here, there is no other slab in this side, so no need to extend. There is a slab here. Because of the continuity, it's continuous here. It's continuous here. Now, if I draw another line here, you will see that we have a support, and then we have another support. First support is going to be discontinuous because there is no slab here. While this one is going to be a continuous because there is a slab on this side. Okay, so I'll just try to draw a little bit faster now. Continuous. Okay. You can draw these small lines to understand. Okay. Are we, are we okay with cases four, five, six? Are we okay with cases four, five, six? Okay, very good. Going for the other cases. Going for the last cases, we have seven, eight, and nine. Now, seven says for us, seven says for us, three edges are discontinuous. These three are discontinuous. Which part is not clear, uh, Vishra? If you see case number four, it's discontinuous from this side. So the, the support is discontinuous. Here, there is another slab, so it's continuous. In the other direction, it's discontinuous from here, so this is what we draw. And then uh, it's continuous here. Short one, not continuous. For case number four, if you return back here, short number one, it, I mean, case number four, it says for you, Case number four is two adjacent edges discontinuous. So this is discontinuous now. And this is discontinuous. Okay. If it's discontinuous, it means that the moment here is zero. And the moment here is zero. 
there is another slab. If you try to draw it, there is another slab here. There is another slab here. Is it clear now, Ushra? Okay. Going for cases seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So cases seven, eight, and nine. Once again, return back to the drawing and you will understand. Okay. So seven, it says two or three edges discontinuous, only one edge. Continuous. So three are discontinuous. One is continuous, which is long. So if we go and see case number seven, it is discontinuous from here. It is discontinuous from here. It's discontinuous from here. Only one side continuous, which is long. Case number eight, it says three are discontinuous. Three edges. Excuse me, sir, your voice is not available. Are you able to hear me? Yes, now it's okay. Thank you. Okay. So returning back. Yeah, I, I didn't when I saw the network was off. I stopped. Anyhow. Returning back. Returning back to whatever I was saying. For case number eight. Three edges discontinuous and one of them is continuous, which is short. So if you see here, this is discontinuous, this is discontinuous, this is discontinuous, while this one is only continuous. Case number nine, it says for us four edges discontinuous. It means that there are no slabs surrounding that slab. Okay, so if you see here, this is discontinuous from here, discontinuous from here, discontinuous and then discontinuous. Okay, if we try to draw Sorry, sir, your screen is not sure. This the screen is not here. The screen is fine. You cannot see my screen? No. Can you please share it? It's shared. But that's all. The screen. No, you cannot. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll go out. And then I return back in. So let me let me try to unshare and unshare. Now? Yes, now it's there. Okay. Anyhow, now if you see cases seven, eight, and nine. Okay, if you see cases seven, eight, and nine, let me just draw it with you. Okay, so once again, so 
So wherever there is a slab, just extend. Wherever there is a slab, extend by drawing a line. Yes, it occurs, of course, in reality. Otherwise, you will not see it. For example, an outside kitchen. Separate kitchen outside. If it's an outside kitchen, will it be connected by something? Okay. Good. Is it clear now? Which part go? Which part? First one, which is first one? Case number one, number two, number three, number four, number seven. What about it? What about case number seven? Okay. So if we draw a line here. As Zahra, I said from the last lecture that this table is for a two-way slab. And if you have seen, if you have seen whatever I have illustrated from the beginning, I say that six and nine. So that's going to be a two-way slab. Now for Amir, I said for you an outside kitchen. Outside kitchen which is not connected to the building. Sure. Okay. Now, there is a support here. There is a support here. This support is not having, there is no slab here. So it's going to be discontinuous. It's fine, uh, no need to apologize. Okay. And then here we have another slab. So that's why it should be should be continuous like whatever we are seeing here the other side this is discontinuous and this is discontinuous if you draw if you draw your free body diagram showing your support whether it's discontinuous or continuous you shouldn't have a problem is it fine now for if you are still not confident try to draw the two lines which i have told you inside the slide Okay, now we learned how to draw. Okay, we learned how to draw the bending moment. Now there is another method of drawing the bending moment. Okay. Not another method, but let me try to draw it here directly. It should be giving you exactly the same. But instead of drawing it for each and every slab, I'm going to draw it one time so i'm just going to draw a line here another line another line these are representing one direction no Later on, I'll do the other one. Okay. This is zero because there is no slab. This is zero because there is no slab on the left. So it goes from zero up. 
up, up, and then it goes to zero. Same thing here, zero, it goes up, up, zero, zero to zero, zero, up, 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 and then it goes to zero, zero, and then it goes to zero because there is no slack. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. Wherever there is no slab, it goes to zero. Whereas there is wherever there is a slab, the bending moment will go up. Are we fine? This is in one direction only. If you want to continue as well, you need to draw the other direction. Okay. If you want to draw, or you need to draw the other direction. Let's just draw a line. Okay. So let me just try to draw it in the other, in the other one. Zero, up, 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 and then zero. Always zero, I told you, whenever there is no slab on that side. Zero, because this is an opening. Zero, on the left there is no slab, on the right there is no slab. Zero, there is no slab on the left, it goes up, up, zero. Zero, up, zero. What four axes? What four axes? You mean which axis, Yan? Axis. Okay. Now, of course, this is your line. This is your line, so it represents your y axis. This is representing x, so it represents your short axis. So the first one, the top one, is for y. The bottom one is for, for x. Now, let us try to see for these cases which we have already identified. So, for example, case number seven. I want to see this one. So, case number seven is going to be this one in terms of x, and in terms of y, it's going to be this one. So, if I go and see the final drawing for case number seven, I see it in this way: that this is x, this is y. Remember the x drawing. Remember the y drawing. This is x. This is one. Is it clear? Are we clear? So it's up to you. It's up to you to draw one by one or to do all of them. It depends. I have given you all the methods. You choose whatever method you want. Okay. Now returning to the most important point, which is the coefficient. Now we learn how to know which case we learned how to draw the bending moment diagram. The coming thing is to know the coefficient. Now uh, I'll take one case from each from each uh, example. One, two, three, and then three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. So from each line, I'll take one. Okay. Now 
first thing, if we see the table, we need to go and understand the table first. Okay. Now, if we see the table, you can see it says for you here it's a short span coefficient and here it's a long span coefficient. So all of these values are representing X. And this is the only one which is representing Y. Okay. And it shows you that the dominating dimension, even if it's a two way, still the dominating dimension is X. Okay. Now, there are values, different values here. 1, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.75, 2. Now, one question, what one question I used to ask in the exam, uh, that why, why we cannot get the value lesser than one and why cannot we uh, use this table for a value more than two and if a person is uh, following me he will understand now first thing we said this value is representing ly over lx okay so this is representing the ratio of ly over lx and i said if your ly over lx is lesser than or equal to two then it's a two-way slab if it's more than two, then it's a one-way slab. Now, I have clearly said that this table is for a two-way slab. So any value which is becoming more than two, it does not belong to a two-way slab. It belongs or it tends to be a one-way slab, means you cannot use this table. That's why you cannot have a value more than two. Are we clear about the value being more than two? If you are getting more than two value of ly over lx, it means that if you are getting a value of ly over lx more than two, it means that it's a, a one-way slab. This table is for a two-way slab. You cannot use it. Okay. And the table for one-way slab, you have already studied it in design one. Now, why cannot we have something lesser than one? And it's a very simple answer that LY is a longer direction, LX is a shorter direction. Your longer cannot be shorter, cannot be lesser than longer. Longer cannot be shorter than the sh shorter. Or Y is always greater than X. So you cannot get the value lesser than one. Are we clear? So if you get a value for a two-way slab, if you get a value more than two or lesser than one, it means that you have made a disaster somewhere. Okay, very good. Now let us take, let us take, let us take case number one. Okay, let us take case number one. Uh, okay. Now I need to decide whether I'll go for one or 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2 or 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5 intermediate depending on the size of the slab now if we go to the slab we'll see that the dimensions of the slab are six and nine so if we go and calculate ly over lx ly is nine lx is six L lx and ly are not the vertical and horizontal direction ly is longer lx is shorter okay so it will give you 1.5 now, if it gives you 1.423, for example, 1.423, you need to get the coefficient for 1.23. You cannot use 1.4, you cannot use 1.5. Okay. Returning back here. So we said, we said for 1.5, for 1.5, we have two values for case number one. One value is 0 0.053, and then the other value is 0 0.04. Okay, and it says for me here that 0 0.053 is the negative value or the negative moment, and then 0 0.04 it says for me the positive moment. Now, 0 0.053 and 0 0.04 are representing x, right? 
even if you get 1.401, you should do the, what you call You should do the intersection method. You need to intercept and get the value for that. Okay. Now, anyhow, anyhow, we have two values. One is, one is, how much you say? One is point. 0.053 and the other one is 0 0.04 0. okay one is for negative one is for positive and we say these are for x now i return back to x drawing now i have said that the coefficient here is negative so it means that this is going to be 0 0.053 this is positive so it means it's going to be 0 0.040 so if i want to calculate the bending moment if i want to calculate the bending moment bending moment we say is equal to beta into w into l square it means that beta i have two values i have mx positive now i have mx negative so first time, I'll be using the positive 0.04. I'll just multiply it by W. L square is representing the short. So your short direction here for this slab is 6 meter, if you remember. So it's going to be 6 square. For your negative, it's going to be 0 0.057 multiplied by W multiplied by 6 square. Now going for y, going for y, returning back to the same table, okay, returning back to y. Now, these are the Excuse only, me, yes. You made a, mix, a mistake on putting a value of beta in the second one. It should be 0 0.053, not 57. Okay, so 53. Okay. So 0 0.053. Now for y, for y you have two values for whatever is the ratio. Okay, for whatever is the ratio. This is representing once again y negative, and this is representing y positive. Okay. So if you want to calculate m1 negative, then you should be using 0 0.032 multiplied by w multiplied by 6 square okay if you want to calculate positive y my positive then it's going to be 0 0.024 w lx square always x is going to be used for both x mx or my because x is dominating as we think, as we say now for this drawing for case number one whatever we have drawn now how many moments are there Mister, it should be six square or nine. Nine, yeah. Once again, I say. For L. And Y portion. Yeah, once again, I kept saying the equation of moment, the equation of moment is going to be beta multiplied by W multiplied by LX square, if you remember. Whether you are talking about Y or whether you are talking about X. The dominating is going to be always x. If you open your BS code, even when you calculate, even when you calculate v, to v, which is shear force, whether you are talking about y or you are talking about x, it's always Lx. Bushra, because the dominating is x, the primary moment the maximum moment is x and then the remaining is going to be for y this is msx and this is msy so whether you are talking about x or you are talking about y you should use only the beta for x or y but when it comes to lx or when it comes to l it's always going to be lx it's always a short span 
the dominating is always X, and then the values of moment, according to the VS code, they have made the equation of LX first, and based on LX, they will find LY. Okay? Now, is it clear that we have, we have got here four moments? Is it clear for case number one that we are getting four moments? X positive, X negative, Y positive, Y negative. It means that I'll be having, it means that I'll be having four coefficients, four moments, four areas of reinforcement. In one way slab, you used to calculate for one. Now for this, you need to calculate four times. Very good. Now going for, going for the other case, which is, let us take another case, which is a little bit, I'll take case number five. I'm trying to take cases where they are different a little bit. Okay, so case number five. Now for case number five, how many values are there of moment? This is Y, right? This is X. It means that this is X positive and this one is X negative. Here we have only one value, which is Y positive. The other value is zero. Are we clear? How many, how many moments are shown here? There are three only, right? Okay, there are three only. It means when you go to the table, you will see only three coefficients, not four coefficients. If you found in your drawing that you have more coefficient than the table, it means that the drawing is wrong. Let us return to let us return to case number five. Now, if you go to case number five, you will see we have two short edges. We have two short edges discontinuous. When it comes to x, when it comes to x, there will always be a negative and positive values. One positive and one negative. But when we had, when we had the y, of course, according to my drawing and according to my table, there will only be a positive value. There will not be a negative value. It means that whatever I have drawn is correct. Are we clear? Mister, we take x negative once only. What do you mean by once only? We mm. have two x negative. Yeah, both of them are the same. Okay. Both of them are same. Are we fine? Now, of course, there are certain limitations for this table, but we'll come to it later. How many, Bushra, how many moments are there in this drone? How many moments you can see? Where is the fourth one? This is X negative. This is X negative. This is X positive. These are two. This is Y positive. Do you have a Y negative here? Do you have a Y negative? Then how many moments are there? And this is what the table says. If you go for case number five, the table says for you, two for X, two, not three, two for X. X negative and X negative are going to be the same. They don't change. Otherwise, when we talked here, we should have calculated for six values. X negative, X negative are the same. Y negative, Y negative are the same.
In one way, in one way slab, you have only one moment. You don't have two moments. Though. There is nothing called total moment in both directions. I don't know from where you have brought that. In one way slab, you have one major moment, which is one X. And then the other one is minor. Minor means it's very smooth. That's why we call it as a one way slab because it, it bends in one direction. So we calculate only one moment. We get the reinforcement for that. The other side is going to be only a shrinkage or a minimum reinforcement because the value of moment is very smooth. In two way slab, it goes the opposite. We calculate for X and we calculate for Y because bending moment is not minor for any direction. Okay. Now going for going for last case, case number nine. Let's go for case number nine. Now for case number nine, how many moments are there? How many moments do you see? For x, how many value we have? We have only x positive, and for y we have y positive, right? Very good. So if I go for case number nine, or I go for if I go for case number nine, I'll not see a negative anymore. I'll see only positive. Is it clear? So you have only one positive value for x and one positive value for y. In conclusion, if your drawing is correct you will represent whatever values in the table correctly. If your drawing is wrong, then it's very hard for you to use and understand the drawing, and understand the table. We are okay? Fine. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, okay. next step. Okay, next step. Next step, after we know how to identify the cases, after we know how to draw the bending moment, find the coefficients. Second step is going to calculate the moment. Okay, We need to, get, to go and calculate the moment here for cases one and four. Okay, For cases one, and let's say cases one and nine, for example, to keep it a little bit simple. Cases one and nine, they say it for us that the live load is 1.25. 1.25 and then the finishes is 2.5 we need to go and calculate okay now if you remember let me just save this one it does not matter it does not matter the case will not change even if it's rotated. Yeah. Short is still short. Long is still long. Okay. Once again, long and short are not related to Y and X. Long is long, short is short, whether it's rotated 90 degrees or zero degrees. Going here. Are we okay? Are you are you able to follow me? Are you okay with me now? Okay. Now we said we said that there is there is one equation for moment that is moment is equal to beta w into L x square. This is a general equation for moment. Okay. Now if you remember for case number one. If you remember case number one, we had four moments. We had MX positive, MX, MY positive, or let us say MX negative, MY positive, and then MY negative. There were four moments for the first case, right? For case number nine, Case number nine, the last case, we had only two moments, MX positive 
and MY positive. Okay. Now we know LX that the, the problem says that LX LX is equal to six meter while LY was nine meter. Okay, so one of the one of the data okay, one of the data has been given which is LX nine meter six meter. Okay. Now we need to get the betas and we need to get the value of the value. Okay. Now let us let us go and see. Okay. Let us try to go and see the okay. so we have got the coefficients. We have got the coefficients here, zero point zero point zero five three and then zero point zero four that's for x okay always or in most of the cases the negative x is going to be more okay. so this is going to be zero point zero five three this is zero point zero four okay that's beta now going for going here once again we already found beta for y 0 0.032 and 0 0.024 okay so just go here 0 0.032 0 0.02 you will notice something that the x is more than y in most of the cases because we said x is dominating and you will see that you will see that normally negative is more than the positive. Okay, going for number case number okay. going for case number nine. So for case number nine, case number nine, we have two values. Okay, zero point zero nine two and zero point zero five six. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So zero point zero nine two, and then zero point zero five six. So zero point zero nine two, zero point zero six, five six or six five. Five six. Okay. Now we have got the coefficients. Okay, we have got the coefficients. We have got LX. Remaining is remaining is the remaining is W, right? Remaining is W. Are we okay to now? Are we fine? Okay. Sir, this X should be square two. We'll come to it. The square. Okay. okay. We are fine. Okay, and then we have and we have W. Now we need to calculate W. Now W, we have said already that W is 1.4 into dead load plus 1.6 into light load. This is what we have studied in all of our previous courses. Okay, now we need to calculate first dead load. So dead load is equal to self weight plus finishes. Now in the problem, in the problem, the finishes has been given to be 1.25, 1.25. Okay. So 1.25 for the finishes. Self weight. The self weight is going to be 24. 24 is the unit weight of concrete. So 24 multiplied by the depth of the slab. If you remember, I have already explained for you how to calculate the self weight of the members. If you remember, okay. So this is in millimeter. We need to convert it to meter. So that's going to be 0 0.18. Okay. 
now if we go and open a calculator you can see that there in this equation you multiply the finishes with the self weight you have to add it or not yeah yeah it's added Four point three two plus one point two five. So it's going to give you five point five seven. And it's certain here that it's plus. Okay, so five point five seven. You have the life load given in the problem that it is equal to two point five. 2.5 kilonewton per meter square. Eventually, you need to calculate your W, that it's 1.4 multiplied by 5.57 plus 1.6 multiplied by 2.5. Can can anybody calculate this one for me and give me the answer? There it's 11.798. 11.798 kilonewtons yes. per meter square. But we say the slab is designed for one meter width, right? 11.8. Yes. Do you remember when we said the slab is designed for one meter? Do you remember your water tank problem? I think you shouldn't forget that. Okay, the slab is designed for one meter width, so it's 11.798 kilonewton per meter. I'll just go and multiply here. Now doing that. Doing that will be able to calculate our moments, right? Whatever we have done, we have found all the all the variables. We have found the coefficient. We know what's Lx. We calculated W. So we'll be able now to get the values of moments, right? Are we fine? Dead load Sleeman is equal to self weight plus finishes. Self weight is 24 multiplied by the depth. Depth has been given in the question to be 180. And then the finishes has been given to be 1.25. So that's why it's 1.25. 1 1.25 plus 24 into 0.18. Okay. Now what we are going to do That's a homework for you too. We have done a lot of intersections previously. You should know how to do it. Okay, so if you try to search about it, if you didn't know how to do the interaction or intersection, I'll do it for you, but not in the class time. Okay, I'll just post it in the Teams for everyone. Okay. Now, what we need to do, the next step is to use uh, to use the values. Sorry, sir. The, yes. Uh, sir, according to my calculation, you said before that uh, m x minus should mm -hmm. be the, the the largest value. Is that okay? In most of the cases, yes. Okay. Because I got the bigger value, 22.5 in mx minus. That, that's why I said not minus, positive mx for case number nine. Maybe. I mean in case number one. 
Yeah, for case number one, X is going to be more, of course. And case nine? Case nine, nine the Y and X are going to be more than case number one. Because this, of what? I told you in most of the cases, because this 10 C. Okay. Now, eventually, if you have a simply supported moment, simply supported case, the whole entire moment is going to go for the span. Right? Yes. If you're having this line, this initial line, which was a simply supported, it was elevated a little bit up, it comes to be like this. Yes. Okay. It means now, whatever values you will get for the negative and positive, of course, they are going to be lesser than the case where it's fully discontinuous. Ah, yes, 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 I got it. Okay. So that's why I said mostly, because I know case number nine is the only case which will not fit for, for that criteria. Okay. Now, okay. anyhow, going here, let us see. It says for us, this is an Excel. Okay, this is an Excel. We are going to compare our results with Excel now. So it says short span is six meter. Long span is nine meter. Depth of the slab is 180. Cover, if we return back, see here, cover is 20 mm, although it will not affect our moment calculation. And then we have self weight 4.32 has been calculated automatically. If I change anything in the depth, self weight will automatically change. So if I open my calculator, we learn that it's 24. Okay, we learn that it's 24 multiplied by the depth, which is 0 0.32, calculated automatically. Extra dead or finishes 1.25, imposed load 2.5. So here you have got your design load to be 11.8. How much we have got it? How much we have got our W or N? We have got it to be 11.798, right? Are we fine with that? Okay, very good. very good. Now going, specifying the edges. Okay, specifying the edges. Just understand here because this is very important. Now if you see here, this is 1.4, this is 1.6. These are the coefficients. These are the factor of safety. Sorry, not coefficients. Factor of safety for the dead and life. So 1.4 and 1.6. And then we have the materials. Factor of safety is for the concrete is 1.5, for the steel it's 1.05, according to the BS code, of course. Okay. Now, here the most important thing for me is to know whether it's continuous or discontinuous. Now, can you see here if I go and change, see what will happen to the coefficients as well? Can you see the, these values? These values are representing your coefficient. Now, if I go and change any keys, you will see the values are going to change. Are we clear? Okay. Now, if I keep, see what will happen to the drawing here. If I discontinue everything, you will see now this slab does not have anything surrounding it. It's fully discontinued. So if you remember, if it's fully discontinuous, which is case number nine, discontinuous from all sides, our coefficient should be 0 0.092 and 0 0.056. This is whatever we have got. This is whatever we have got in our drawing for our values here. Can you see 0 0.092 and 0 0.056? Very good. Now going for case number one. Okay, going for case number one. Of course, this is very clear. It says short span. It means when it's when say when when you refer here before going further, um, span means span means the support or it means this the center points. 
between the supports. Span, is it positive or negative? We'll come to it. Leave whatever is shown over there. Minimum space. Leave. Okay. Span, it means it's a positive. Edge is representing. No, Excel is only to help you. In the exam, there is no Excel. Okay. Positive. Positive is going to be span. Negative is going to be support. Okay. So we call it as span and edge or span and support. Are we clear? Span, support or span edge. Okay, very good. So if we if we try, okay, you can see here we have LY and we have LX. Okay, we have LY and we have LX. And then it says for a short span. So it means of course it's positive. Short means X, so this is X positive. Long span long is y span is positive so it's going to be y positive what's no No problem, Mister. You can continue. I will see the video next. Okay. Now, if you see here, the key, this is case number nine. This is case number nine, and you can see here beta. After beta, you can calculate your moment. It is direct. Okay. It is direct. If you want to calculate our moment, you can see. We said moment is equal to coefficient. Zero point zero nine two multiplied by the loading that is 11.798 that we have calculated multiplied by x square we should be getting it to be 39.07 which is around 39.2 here they have taken it to be 11.8 we have taken it accurate which is 11.798 are we clear Very good. Now going for case number one. If you remember, we solved for two cases. Case number nine. And we say we solved for case number one as well. And we want to check the coefficients. Now going for the Excel. So case number one, you will see that all of the sides are continuous. If you remember, it's an interior slab, so it's continuous from all the sides. It's continuous from all the sides. Now you'll see we're having 0 0.04, 0 0.024, 0 0.053, 0 0.032, 0 0.053, and 0 0.032. Now if we return back, we'll see that these are the values that we have got. Okay, but we need to understand them because over there there are six values. In the Excel, there are six values. Here we are having only four. And if you see, I have told you, negative will be the same value for both of them, and negative will be the same value for both of them. So that's why you'll see 2.0.053 and 2 of 0.032. Okay, anyhow, I'll just take a, a picture, and then we'll try to um, work on it further. Now, if you see here, if we see here, whatever we try to draw, we draw a line here. Do you remember this line? And then that there is a support here. There is a line here. And then there is another slab. There is another slab. There is a line here. 
There's another slide. There's another slide. Do you remember this one? Great. We try to draw the bending moment now. Bending moment goes up, down, up. Well, let me try to draw it first for one of them. Otherwise, you will see that the drawings are going to be overlapping. Okay. So this is the line, one support here, another support here, continuous and continuous. The same here. Support, support, continuous and continuous. We try to draw the bending moment, it goes in this way. Now, this is representing which direction? Is it the X or Y? Whatever line I have drawn, this line is representing what exactly? This line is the same as this line. This is representing, should be representing X, right? Should be representing X. What about this line? It should be representing Y. Okay. okay now when we talk about x when we talk about x you will see that x is touching edge number one and it's touching edge number three can you see x is touching edge number one and it's touching edge number three while y is touching edge number four and edge number two it means whatever you get for edge two and four are going to be for y and whatever you get for edge three and one are going to be for your x now if we see here edge one and edge three are zero point 053 edge 2 and edge 4 is going to give you 0 0.032 okay edge is having another name which is support so in this support for x and in this support for x your value is going to be 0 0.053 and your support you have it x negative or x positive your support up it's upright so we have it negative so this is x negative what about what about this scenario okay what about this scenario this is negative y which is representing edge three and one. Oh, sorry, which is representing edge two and four for y. So that's going to be y negative is going to be 0 0.032. X negative is going to be 0 0.053. We have finished from these points, which is edge two, four, edge three, one. Now remaining long span and short span. Span. When I talk about any element, this region is whatever we call it support or, or edge. This part is whatever we call it as span. And in your drawing, most of the cases, we're having negative here, positive goes here. Okay, so span is always positive. Okay, span is always positive and then support is always negative or zero depending on continuous or discontinuous so now short it says short so we are referring to x it says long so we are referring to y span is positive so this is x positive and y positive x positive is 0 0.04 y positive is 0 0.024 now we have got two we have got four values x positive y positive and then we have got y positive, y negative, and x negative. x negative is 0 0.053. Now, if we go to check whatever we have done earlier, okay, whatever we have done earlier, uh, where is that? 
whatever we have done earlier you will see that x positive is 0 0.04 so this is positive x this is positive y so we return back here see we have 0 0.04 and we have 0 0.024 and then we have negative x and negative y so 0 0.053 and 0 0.032 so this is 0 0.053 and this is 0 0.032. Are we fine? Are we okay? Very good. Now, by now, by now, we should be able to draw any bending moment for any two-way slab, any one-way slab, finding the coefficient of one way of say finding the coefficient for two-way slabs and finding the moments as well. I have already given you the moments and I have already given you the equations. Yes, for the span it's always positive. Okay, the sign convention for the for the slab is positive. Okay. So now whatever we have actually we I was planning to give you another software, but due to the time, we have taken more than the planned time. Yeah. Anyhow, what I want you to do, um, there are certain problems which are here. Okay, there are certain problems. You have in class exercise one, in class exercise two, in class exercise three, in class exercise four, Okay, now this one, two, three, four, they were from the previous exams. Okay, they were from the previous exams. What I want you to do, I want you to go and try them. Okay, and if there is time, I'll go and give you hints how to solve them. But you should be able by now, you should be able now to solve them. One, two, three, four. PowerPoint Sleiman is already uploaded. PowerPoint is already uploaded and we save for the handout. PowerPoint, I have already uploaded the PowerPoint for you, right? I didn't upload the PowerPoint. This one, right? And Teams already. Teams except except uh, for the exams you will see them in the e -learning. This is the RC design. It was posted here, and I think you can see it in the files as well. You can see class materials. I think you should have it here. Um, your screen is again gone. What my screen is what? It's not there. Share it. It is there. I didn't. Okay. I didn't unshare. But anyhow, share it once again. Now, can you see? Are you able to see now? No. No. Oh. Still, it's not here. Okay. One minute. One minute. Now. Yes. So the. Whatever I was saying for you, the handout has been uploaded already here. That is before around 12 days. Okay, this is a PowerPoint. And you can see it in the course or class materials as well. Okay. Some codes you will find them here. I have already uploaded the codes that you might be using. Okay. Any question for today's session before we finish? So once again, previously you, you said something about the homework for today. When you yeah. were explaining the problem, the previous problem in case one and nine. What is the homework again? I don't remember, but anyhow, keep this, keep this to your homework. Solve class one 
out. Solve exercise one, two, three, four. If you are able to solve these four, you shouldn't have any problem in terms of uh, in terms of solving any questions, yani approximately. Okay. So one, two, three, four is your homework to try. Okay. If there is time, only I'll go through them. If there is no time, I'll not solve them. Are we okay? Okay. Now, regarding your regarding your quiz, regarding your quiz, your quiz is available in the e-learning. You can go and take it. Okay, you can go and take it from the e-learning. Okay, the question is very easy. You shouldn't have a problem with that. Thank you very much. And if you don't have any question, you are free to leave.